And caches. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Bring them all. Everybody. Okay. Lapping. Maybe it's supposed to be pronounced French, like Lapine. Lapine. Probably. That's... It is a Lapine boutique. <laughs> With the stupid little... Oh, shit. Um, oh, God. Oh, boy. No. No, don't get their opinions. They're all just staring at this thing. Man in his 20s. A man in his 20s. Is it Joshua? Oh, and I don't mean Agate. I wouldn't get him a gift. <laughs> Tee -hee. <laughs> no, he's like your I wonder brother. if, says Reen. Yep. Let's see. What is Joshua like? He likes using an attack that's very similar to Gale. He likes yeah. brainwashing. He likes <laughs> Estelle. Can we buy Estelle from this store? Let's go see if Estelle is one of the options. Yeah, that seems good. <laughs> Reaches behind the counter, picks her up. Oh, here she is. <laughs> what Estelle? It's the newest model. A man in his twenties, calm and composed. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to ask them. All right. Well, clearly, I'm probably gonna get a third choice if I go ask them. So let's go do that. Alrighty. Plus, it's extra dialogue, and we like these characters, so. Um. Hey. I'm here too. He just... actually mentioned his presence without them having to spot him approaching or just barging in. That's true. He's learning. Oh my god, he's growing up so fast. Oops. <laughs> Um, that face. No. Hush now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shipping all the possible parents. <laughs> yeah, I bet you've done more than that. We're gonna have to go back to the like last seven games, and <laughs> we're gonna have like this special edit once we find out who Musei really is, and just be like, she was in the background of all these different shots and scenes, <laughs> peeking her head around a corner, oh my popping God. out of a box. That would be amazing. I would love that. Hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> Everywhere you go is a Musei. <laughs> that sound like quite the couple. Oh, no. Might be the perfect couple. That is not who I chose! <laughs> This feels like mischief waiting to happen. Yeah, is it just going to be like all necklaces and nonsense? Hold on, let me pull up my thing again. Oh. Jesus! <laughs> well, okay. what, it, I thought it was going to add a third choice. It did. Right, it did. And, and it also added and like um, all, all the choices. Well, okay. Also, the first two must be wrong because they weren't available before the extra dialogue, so they wouldn't be worth the most points. Right. And they're all hats now, so that doesn't really help because I was like, yeah, a hat would make sense. I'm going to guess an elegant driving hat. It's not. It's a stylish knit God hat. God damn it, that was number two. <laughs> no one has to believe me, though. <laughs> Like, it's all the way down at the bottom. Would it be the bottom choice? I don't know. Right. <laughs> a hat can go with any wardrobe. <laughs> That's true. Like, a necklace or jewelry could have added implications, but it's just a hat. Yeah. You don't buy somebody a hat and they're like, well, we're getting married. <laughs> Are you excited, honey? I am. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. Hmm. My name is Elise. 
<laughs> this is what I sound like. I was going to say, she's turned into Pooh Bear. We have a kind problem on our hands. Yeah, it's not great. Because <laughs> she's going to start eating people. <laughs> right. I got some lucky guesses and some cheating from above. Yes. <laughs> Invigorate. Invigorate is one that we have liked. We'll see if it does the same thing. Off you go, then. What? She wouldn't do that, would she? She might. Well, yeah, I guess so. Though she definitely seems a little more with it than in the past. So uh, maybe not a ton. Oh, I can quit travel. Oh, my God. I, I'm going to do it. I'm, whoa. Yes. Um, Let's have a look-see at the Invigorate. Yeah, so it comes with a forte and impassion. You CP by slashing at enemies. I don't know if it's going to make the cut. Strength plus five is a little underwhelming. Yeah, it's not great. Maybe if there's like a super rare down the road? Maybe. Maybe we can buff it up. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that should be just about everything. We need to go back to the school campus and look around that map a bit because we haven't looked around the outside a lot. We have spent our last bonding point, which my vote is Altina. Yep, seems fair. Sorry, Ash. Sorry, Toa. But we're not sorry about Toa. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Okay, true. I'm not sorry about Toa. Speak for you. Oh, you did. <laughs> huh. There's something oh on the canvas. My God. Ladies and gentlemen, it took us a 94 fucking years, <laughs> but we finally invented the technology to put things on canvas. <laughs> it looks like a. What is that? It's a plant. You just can't oh. see the flowers because it's not color. You know, it looks like, like a. <laughs> Like one of the Eevee evolutions, like in a horrible anamorphosis or something. It looks like there's a face in there I with ears. With one eye looking forward and the right eye, well, the left eye for it, looking up. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm seeing. Well, you're a crazy person. You <laughs> failed the Rorschach test, but I can see where you're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing, though. We're going to have to show Gaius this. Be like, hey, this is what you could have been doing. The other localization thing I forgot when we were talking about it before, by the way, is all uh -huh. the like mess-ups on descriptions of items and arts and crafts. Oh, you're right. I thought of that, too, and then I forgot to bring it up. Yeah. But, yeah, the same, yep, same, same thing. Maybe the most glaring of them all, to be honest, because those are just, like, flat out don't describe the thing correctly. Right, exactly. Where it's like a missing letter or something occasionally. I mean, hell, one and two had that. Right. But this is just straight up like there are attacks and descriptions that are incorrect. Which is confusing when you're trying to do the thing and then the game doesn't do what you want it to do. Should please twice in two sentences. That's a little much. Can we like very Japan chill it back with the very formal dialogue? Can we just talk like normal people? <gasps> it's a monster. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> On the plus side, it doesn't look like a horrific evolution nightmare anymore, so that's good. It's actually really good. It actually is really nice. <laughs> well, oh, it's just like her singing then. Oh. Passion. I feel nothing. That's bullshit. We never saw anything. <laughs> well, he showed me his paintings. They were blank. And I felt the passion from that blankness. <laughs> oh, hey. There he is right now. We'll see him soon enough. He's had a glow up in this game. <laughs> but no one saw it. <laughs> I'm going to run this joke into the ground. It's going to be great. Aww, it's sad. Well, but Milliam can't draw this good, though. Sure, she has passion, but <laughs> she's also crazy. Yeah, she would run off ten minutes into the painting. Yes. <laughs> huh, really. He's not going to let that slide. No. Double negative. Yeah.
Draw the flowers, but think about how much you hate Millium while you draw them. Then we'll feel your passion. She wants to draw us. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> I won't stand for an uncool painting. Yeah. <laughs> I've killed for less. <laughs> what? We're just sitting. Oh my god, we look amazing. <laughs> we look like we did in the first game. <laughs> Bye, music. And Aurelia gave her an F. <laughs> the F is for feelings. <laughs> Oh my god, we look stunning. Aww. Now that it has the color in the new outfit, it doesn't look like the first game anymore. Yeah, we also, we also look sad, kind of, sort of. <laughs> but is that her sadness conveying or ours? Or, it's probably ours! <laughs> <laughs> That's a little late. So you fail. <laughs> F! But you would have passed. Yes. Please enjoy retaking your grade. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, she's our adopted daughter. What do you want? And the model was also that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm, let me just strain my shoulder, patting myself on the back. Yeah. Also, could you give me that painting so I could hang it up in my room? That would be awesome. That way I can stare at myself. <laughs> Get lost in my eyes. <laughs> my <What>? gorgeous eyes. <laughs> uh, That's not how any of that works. <laughs> okay. We have spent our points. No more points are eligible. I think we've checked out most of the buildings. I'm going to go through this stretch real quick just to make sure we're not missing anything. Well, we did a hidden quest. It seems like there's only been one so far. Um, oh, I do want to talk to the principal because we mentioned something about that. How you doing, Jessica? Have you learned? Are you figuring things out? Whatever it takes. Yeah, you guys could join the party. That's fine. Um, yeah, join class seven. Our class is tiny, so we could definitely make room for you guys. Principal's office. Detention. <laughs> we get suspended for just walking in here. Or fired, I guess. We're not a student anymore, right? Oh, yeah, the party. Everybody cut loose. <laughs> Foot loose. loose. <laughs> Kick up your Sunday loose. <laughs> um, I'll try to enjoy myself and fail. Be sure to savor them. I don't want to... Can we not... <laughs> I'm sure six or seven drinks won't hurt. Oh my god, if we get drunk in front of the students, that's gonna... That... That's, that is, would be oh, hilarious, but also, here. like... That should do it, then. We've been in the main building, we went through the other subset, and then look around. And if we are missing one or two things, we've already blown our 100% AP, so, meh. Yeah, we've looked around. So... To the dorms we go. Checked all the shops before even this session. That should be fine. I will need to get some new equipment for people when we get to the next location. Because our poor students are a little behind now. <laughs> Which yeah. is why I'm happy the fights went well in the last keep session, because I had not gotten them their latest, uh, latest stuff. Oh my god, Elise, you had the whole freaking class help you with your shopping? Oh, okay. I thought she was, like, shopping for clothes. <laughs> I was like, good lord, woman. You like those bags of flour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that is flour back there. I wasn't looking at his bag. <laughs> yeah, he would do that. Oh my god, the whole 
crew is here, he I bought guess. Bugs from the bug store. <laughs> and fish. <laughs> I'm gonna cook some really weird stuff. Mm hmm. No, please. <laughs> Nobody has the heart to tell him no, which is why he keeps doing this. You have to tell him no. It's true. Otherwise, he's just gonna keep doing it. Mm hmm. You can't protect someone's feelings if it's going to put you out this much. Yep. Like, now we're risking our health. We might eat some weird-ass scorpion and then die from the poison. <laughs> it looks delicious. Cat, get off the table! Come on, you're going to contaminate the food. Ooh, pupper dog. Pupper dog... Stay Go away on the table. From the cat. <laughs> you might cause a fight. <laughs> fight to the death. Oh god. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's like, I want to eat that cat. I'm going to eat that cat. <laughs> I don't know why it's southern. But look, it is. look at the dog in the top of the screen. He's still looking at Celine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. And that's when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> and now we have to awaken as the Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> These students from Leaves keep putting their nose in our business. Let's attack the school. D yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's creepy. Giggling. Oh, wow. I didn't expect to find such an authentic bathhouse all the way out here. It is surprisingly nice. Yeah. What a pleasant surprise. Now that I think about it, it's probably the principal's doing. I heard this place was changed a lot when they renovated it into a dormitory. Apparently, it was once the mansion of a fallen noble family. Ah oh yes, I've heard that same story. It seems the family had to let go of their holdings ten years ago after the head of the family was conned by an unscrupulous merchant. Though I heard they've since started up their own business outside the country. I see. Sheesh. How do you know all this stuff? Oh god, I'm I'm only just now noticing all like the waves and crap all over them. I've given up on that, it's fine. <laughs> hmm, I feel like I've heard a story like that before. Oh. oh okay, I guess we're done. <laughs> well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I do remember that in Liberal, mm -hmm. or in Sky. Yeah, I was just saying, you have to remember where these comes from. Yep. I guess Yuna doesn't know. I mean, I know she's new to Arbonia stuff, but... Yes, yeah, you and were... then that's when I kidnapped you. Yeah, and you were you were floating above a footpath. Too, yes. Directly above it. Yeah, isn't that a nice memory? <laughs> I remember that mission. Yeah, <laughs> I remember it very vividly. Hee hoo <laughs> boy. No, no, Yuna, stop. <laughs> oh, no. For one, she's not like, I don't understand what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. There's too much steam. Yes, it's affecting my brain. Why did the conversation have to come here? I knew it was going to come here. And I it was, was like, inevitable. <sighs> Once you accept something is inevitable, it hurts less when it happens. But it still kind of hurts. Boldly striding. <laughs> 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 okay, but she and I could haven't known each other that long. I mean, it's not like they were like toddlers. Or she was. not Well, wait, how old was she? She's older than I think she is, which doesn't help, because I thought she was, like, eight <laughs> in the sky, and I feel like she's definitely older than that, supposedly, but... What is she now, 15? 15, probably, 16? so, yeah, definitely older than <laughs> I, I thought. <laughs> a rotten imagination. <laughs> Everybody's hair is such a different color. We got the rainbow in here. Okay, it's not black. Why? It's purple. Altina does have nice hair. 
<laughs> take a strand of it. <laughs> I'll yank it out. This is for me for later. I would expect that from you, say, but not Yuna. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> Can we not? <laughs> Ugh. I mean, it makes sense it's coming from her. Who else is it going to come from? But... Yeah, I mean, it has to be her. Yeah. Also, thank you, Yuna. <laughs> no, Altina. <laughs> She's like, hmm. <laughs> Considered logically, this could be fascinating. <laughs> A dump. Uh. I think that's supposed to be like heart skipping a beat. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think she's saying the words but dump. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? What in the world? Yeah, no, Reed is too dense for that. The time. <laughs> he just loves every single fucking woman on the planet. Oh, Jesus. And those are all the closest characters. There's like a dozen more. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah, but consider the source. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> mm hmm. That's not to say it's not true. It's just, <laughs> of course, we know that she's guilty of embellishing anything. Yes. You didn't think about anything, though, Altina, so you're making progress. <laughs> Sorry you're still short. You will always be a tiny girl. <laughs> you need to be alone. <laughs> Excessive contact. <laughs> it's, a, it's a warning yeah. alert going off. Yes. <laughs> I'm reaching critical Hope you don't mass. Mind if we come in. <laughs> <laughs> All the people. Oh, Instructor Toa. Will you be joining us? And. Aurelia? Oh my god. It was a wee thing. Not just her. <laughs> I'll be joining you ladies as well. So stop gossiping. <laughs> or I'll kill you. Yes. Whoa! An overwhelming presence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry we've been hogging the bath. Oh, not at all. I figured now would be a perfect chance to get to know my students better. We'll try not to rain on your parade. Oh, there's nothing like a nice soak in the bath after a long day. Just over there by herself. <laughs> <laughs> Just chilling. Yep. Seems like you girls were having quite the discussion in here. You all trying to get with Schwarzer? No, please stop. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Why are we bringing this back up? I like how she's not like Musei, and yet, because she's so blunt, she <laughs> sort of kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> get with? <laughs> yes, that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> she would be that brutally honest. That wasn't quite what we were talking about. Well, then, let me give you all some advice. He may seem polite and friendly, but he can actually be pretty single-minded and at times outright stubborn. Yeah. That's accurate. Mm -hmm. That's With so that accurate. In mind, the best way to get your hooks in him is to set up just the right mood and lure him somewhere where you have the advantage. Also oh, correct. I mean, yeah, but also no, please don't. No, no I think it's perfectly fine. No. <laughs> really? Interesting. Huh. For stubborn men, you need to set the right <laughs> mood. You know a stubborn uh, one. I'm yeah. a lot more stubborn than Reen. Yeah, a lot more and also <laughs> no. Be <laughs> sure to take thorough notes, Elise. Musée, please. <gasps> Principal. <laughs> well, everyone has someone that they thought of at some point, so mm -hmm. I guess that's a thing. Meanwhile... I want more of Aurelia. Party How did you member. open that door? Oh my god, I'm concerned. 
<laughs> How did you open the door? <laughs> Is it magic? <laughs> you have to tell me if it's magic. Yep. <laughs> That's fair, Celine. You and me both, we agree on something for once. I want more Aurelia all the time. Yeah, and what I was going to say was temporary party member might be fun, but then but then we got It'll just, happen. Yeah. I don't know in this game. <laughs> I'm a regular. That's also 100% also, true. Yes, that's absolutely right. Celine, you know better than anyone that's not the case. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. It's time for Aubin time. Vita doesn't really do things without a reason. No. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. on June 11th, and you're listening to Radio Trista. How's this fine Sunday night treating you all out there? We're halfway through June, which means we're already halfway through the year. It's been a packed year, yet it's gone by in a flash. Speaking of June, it's that time again. That's right, the Summer Festival is upon us once more. It may be held a month later in Heimdall, but cities all over Erebonia are already having their own celebrations, each with their own unique customs. One of my personal favorite places to go for the Summer Festival is La Mer. Ortis is famous for their annual tradition of lighting candles and setting them to float in the bay. It's just breathtaking to see all those lights. <coughs> Tangled. I was just thinking that too. <laughs> Last year's lighting had to be canceled, unfortunately, but I'm sure plenty of people are looking forward to it this year. I know I am. I can already imagine it. Me sitting by the beach, drink in hand, watching a thousand glimmering lights float out to sea. It'd be wonderful to have such a luxurious, classy evening. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, as I say, yeah. I don't know why I would just pick one. Yeah. And of course, there's more to La Mer than just Ortis. The beaches are beautiful and bountiful, and the seafood is so fresh, it practically leaps off the plate at you. Raquel is well known for its casinos and theaters, and there's also the scenic Brionia Island. There aren't any regularly scheduled fairies there, but if you do make it, you'll find a hidden gem rich in nature and ancient ruins. So after the summer festival, you can go for a swim, hit up the casinos, win a boat, then explore some ruins. There, I planned your whole trip for you. She, this is becoming very... <laughs> win a boat. She might be talking at us now. Mm -hmm. So what's neat about this, though, is it's sort of like our replacement for the first game, where there was the train... And you would kind of talk about the field study location you were going to in advance. Yeah. Usually somebody was from the area. They could give us some info or whatever. Now we get it from, well, I was to say Misty, but Vita, whatever. And yeah. we get it voiced as a nice result, too. Yeah. From one of the best voices in the game. Yes, indeed. It's a quick primer on locations we haven't been to in the first two games. That's true. Maybe this is a good opportunity, then. Emma did ask me to tell you about her. Huh? Listen up. I'm going to tell you a little about the Hexen clan. It's Ooh. about time. Yeah, finally. And the two sisters, Emma and Vita. They were the youngest members of a clan hidden away from the world at large. Vita lost her parents when she was young. But due to her immense natural talents, she was taken in by the Elder as her top disciple. This is an adorable picture. It's so cute. Look Although at, there's a glaring at, problem with it, which is that Grianos is in the shot. He's, he's, not, he's younger, though. He's not quite so portly. He, he That's true. He's kind of fat, but in like a cute way. And I always stupid. liked Grianos. I don't know what your problem was. I loved him. <laughs> he, was, he was so dumb. The <laughs> best dirt bird. <laughs> Such a dirt bird. Meanwhile... Emma's mother was what we refer to as a stray witch. She lived among the common people. However, she lost her life in an accident. Oh, I also just no noticed Kitty Celine mm -hmm. kind of behind the text. That's cute, too. Mm -hmm. Everything about this is cute. Emma was also taken in by the Elder, and the two girls were raised together like sisters. The Elder created a familiar for each of them, me and Grianos. 
Vita was full of talent and spirit, but Emma was a shy shut-in. They both grew into strong, noble witches, and they would have lived a peaceful life in the village, but... At the age of 16, Vita volunteered to become a wandering witch. A wandering witch's job is to go to the outside world and report back to the village on new developments. The Elder sent her off with full confidence, but within half a year, she had vanished. We now know why the Grand Master of Ouroboros got to her. She joined that den of snakes and abandoned her duties as a witch. The Elder regretted her decision to let Vita leave the village. It wasn't the first time she'd seen this happen, after all. But Emma was devastated by the disappearance of her sister. From that day, Emma began training and studying as hard as she could with one goal. Become a wandering witch herself to bring Vita back. And so, Emma was permitted to leave the village at the age of 16. With the help of some stray witches, she was able to enroll at Thor's with a scholarship. And in the spring of her first semester, she met you guys. Thanks, Celine. I think I understand Emma, Vita, and you a little better now. I'm not supposed to talk about this sort of thing with outsiders, but by this point, everyone in Class 7 is pretty much family. Emma had to work hard for the Elder to okay this. I see. So that's what the pendant is all about. Next time you see her, can you tell her I said thanks? Tell her yourself. You'll be seeing her again before too long, right? And that'll do it for tonight's show. Good night, everyone. <laughs> As for you two, don't stay up too late. Ugh. We need your beauty rest, Celine and Reed. That's creepy. I don't like it. What was that? What an obnoxious woman. I'm sure she predicted we'd be listening and used her magic to ensure only we could hear that last part. She really is something. <laughs> now that I think of it, she did something similar during her live broadcast at the start of the Civil War. Yes, she did. Yep. Yeah, Emma's no slouch, but Vita's power as a witch is tremendous. That said, she's not omnipotent. After all. Osborne pulled the rug out from under her, and now she's on the run from her former friends. Ouroboros' plan was hijacked by the Chancellor, and the Black Workshop is starting to make a move. I'm also worried about the true story that Vita mentioned. Yeah, and about how she failed to change the ending. It must have something to do with the Infernal Castle. Vita's personality may be one big joke, but she's not the type to lie. There's no doubt we have a crisis looming over us. Yeah. Judging by the fact that you told me all this, I suppose that means you're headed off now, doesn't it? Yeah, consider it a farewell gift. Even though you need to rely on that pendant, you'll be able to control your power now. I'll leave with your sister tomorrow morning. I suppose the next time we'll see each other is when Class 7 meets up. Haha, uh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it felt like it went by in the blink of an eye. Hey, how about you sleep in my room tonight? What do you say? Oh, Reen, you're, you're... Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> you just don't understand, boy. No, he tries. He just doesn't get it. He's too dumb. I was gonna say, he's really pushing his luck with, like, petting her, first of all, and then saying that. And I was like, yeah. I'm surprised she didn't scratch at his face. It's only a matter of time until she turns into an anime girl. Oh, God. You're right. You're right. And I'm going to hate it when it happens <laughs> because I hate it right now, too. It's only an idea right now, and I hate it. So I love when it's going to be real. <laughs> I've conceptualized it, and I dislike it. So the reality is going to be even worse. <laughs> exactly. We also That's... know that at some point, Rin's going to be able to probably permanently stay in his ogre form. Or maybe just have that kind of adopted into his regular form. I think that's probably the case just because I've seen art with him and his white hair just kind of like chilling. Yes, I have seen that too. Which is not really something I've gone out and saw it, but you know, mm, as stuff for I 4 either, was coming but, out or yeah, whatever. It's tough it to avoid every single things. thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, that's a thing. Okay. Yeah. But it seems like we're heading down that road where like, the device is one thing, but he's going to have to figure it out himself maybe by the end of the game. Or, I yeah. Don't know. We'll see. Yeah. No clue how it really ends up, just some theories, but just half the fun, right? It's half the fun, That's exactly. why you're watching a blind playthrough, so you can figure out what we know and don't know. And sometimes, then when we're wrong, it's hilarious. Yeah, exactly. As I say, sometimes we're way <laughs> off. But you can't be super right and seem smart if you don't make some stands on, you know, iffy things. Yeah. So, next time, 
We will continue with chapter three. It looks like we're about done with all the stuff at the campus. So now it's going to be time to move on to other places. Yay! So bye.